Today, we're here in Brenham, Texas. Our first stop is here at the Bluebell Creamery. Have you ever heard of Bluebell ice cream? I hadn't until I met her. Bluebell, y'all, is the best ice cream in the country. That is their slogan, or at least it was. I grew up on Bluebell, fond memories, Bluebell ice cream. Um, it's my favorite. I wouldn't have any other if Bluebell's around. So let's go inside and see what we can see. Let's go. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we're Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. The Brenham Creamery Company was established in 1907. The local farmers would use their cream to make butter. And then in 1911, they started making ice cream. They would hand crank only two gallons a day at the very beginning. And let's see where it is today. In 2007, Bluebell turned 100 years old, and it says that they celebrated by going to 67 different markets and uh, giving free ice cream. This is a picture of what they took uh, around the country to all the places where they sell it. Pretty cool. Photography and filming is not allowed in the production room, so we're going to show you how it's made here, and we're going to go inside and see for ourselves. There's an observation deck where you can see how they make the ice cream. Now that we've done the tour, there's some ice cream for you to try. It's only a dollar a scoop, and there are so many flavors. There are flavors that they don't even sell in stores right now. We're gonna try some of the uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines inspired flavors that they have at Magnolia Silos. This is salted, this is chips, salted caramel truffle. It's got little pieces of truffle in here, salted caramel ice cream. Let's try that first. What's this one called, do you know? And that one's called S'mores. That one is called S'mores at the Silos. S'mores. And, and it is, let's see, um, milk chocolate ice cream with chocolate chunks, toasted marshmallow, and graham cracker swirl. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Mm. See you later. That is very good. That, oh, wow. And then the aftertaste of the caramel and the saltiness, it is so good. This one's very good also. It has a bunch of chocolate chunks in it and very, very flavorful. Tastes like cake batter almost. Mm. <laughs> Nothing to say here because I want another bite. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. I can't decide. I think for the uniqueness, I guess, I'd pick this one as my favorite, but this one is so good. I'd pick the other one as my favorite of these two. Mm. Because that one's a little lighter flavoring, I think, than the than the chocolate. Chocolate is very, very flavorful. Mm. We're gonna knock these out, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Please enjoy your ice cream in the parlor before entering the country store. We followed directions, we had the ice cream, and now we're going shopping. Yeah, come on. That's all for the Bluebell Tour. 
But before we go on to the next place, I want to talk about a uh, favorite flavor. My favorite flavor growing up, and it's more because of the memory, my grandma always had plain old basic homemade vanilla ice cream. That with some Hershey's syrup on top, that is grandma, my Mima. Um, that absolutely all time flavor. What would you say your favorite is? Uh, I like chocolate, so any kind of chocolate, something with chocolate in it is, is my favorite flavor of, of uh, ice cream. And that's perfect because they make one called the Great Divide where it's half of the Dutch chocolate and half of the homemade vanilla and it's so good. That's what we get a lot. Um, have you, what's your favorite ice cream flavor and can you think of one to invent that's not out yet? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Now it's time to find something to wash down that Bluebell ice cream. We are here at the Brazos Valley Brewery. We're going to go on inside and the beers here are named after songs. So let's go see what we're going to sing with our beer. Should be pretty cool, but I bet she won't drink a beer. And bonus, this is a Harvest Host. We had no idea until we pulled up and we saw motorhomes in the parking lot. This is a Harvest Host, y'all. So it's a nice one. There's the, uh, plenty of room for parking. It's huge. And there's a playground. You can bring your dogs outside. So let's go see how the beer is. They have food inside. And they also said the food truck that's parked here is very good as well. Big, huge open area for uh, RVs. I don't even think I'd have a problem getting the momentum in here. 43 footer. There's two big class A's right now out there. And um, so yeah, let's go on in and have a beer. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind We're here at Brazos Valley Breweries and we're inside now and we've actually ordered. I got Mama Tried IPA. We've already tasted it. It's very good. What did you get? I got a cherry lime seltzer and I really don't like seltzers but this is pretty flavorful for one. I just think that uh, they usually don't have enough flavor but um, I squeezed a little bit of lime in there. It's good. Well, that was our trip to Brazos County Brewing Company. Like I said, I really enjoyed my beer, and we actually met some other full-timers in there that are staying here at the Harvest Toast. What'd you think? It was a neat place. I'd love to come back on Saturday. They do tours for free, uh, so maybe we'll be back and be able to add a tour on to this video. Right. They also have live music on Saturdays. They have a trivia night here. Um, pets are welcome on uh, the outside seating, which is pretty cool. And uh, like, I, like she said, there's four uh, Harvest Host camping spots here. So this place has a lot of cool stuff going for it. If you're ever in the area, come and check it out.